the reason why female soccer players don't get paid as much as men, but are actually paid more a higher percentage than men get paid. Hello everyone, this is Mr. Obvious, bringing you the obvious, and today, on the Twatters, we're gonna specifically talk about women's soccer. Now, the women in women's soccer have been complaining, saying they don't make as much money as their male counterparts. This isn't fair. We're supposed to be an equal society, right? What about women's rights? Well, to that I respond, a simple lesson in basic economics. Here Vox says, the hashtag USWNT just scored 13 goals in their World Cup opening game against Thailand. That's more than the men's team scored in the last three World Cups combined. Why are they still fighting for equal pay? Of course, this has a lot of likes and a lot of retweets, and we're gonna read my own tweet here because it's my explanation. And then we're gonna look at uh, the tweets and see what people have to say, as well as look at the proof as to why women don't get paid as much as men in soccer, but they're actually paid more, a higher percentage of total revenue. Mr. Obvious Talks says, because women's soccer does not attract as many fans, which means much less sponsorships and ticket sales, which means less revenue, which means the league cannot afford to pay them as much as men. Economics 101, you want equal pay, you need to attract equal crowds. Hashtag equality. Brian Peake says, I'm sorry, but this is ridiculous. I enjoy watching the USWNT play. They're very skilled, but Thailand is terrible. The difference in skill between the worst qualifiers in the Men's World Cup and the women's is massive. Trying to use a goal differential argument here is absurd. Jesse brings up the actual point. There's not equal revenue. Women's soccer doesn't bring in same money as men. If this is such an issue, have more fans go to women's games. As usual, these women don't understand equality. Imaginary Rulebook says, a simple economics class could answer this question. So we may as well look at the proof right now. So here on NBC Sports, they're uh, by the author Dwight Jaynes. Equal pay for Women's World Cup players? Seriously? And if we scroll down to this paragraph right here, this is key. This is everything. There is a big difference in revenue available to pay the teams. This year's figures have not been released. But four years ago, the Women's World Cup brought in almost 73 million. The 2010 Men's World Cup in South Africa made almost 4 billion. Those players got 348 million, or 9% of total revenue. The women's team got a higher percentage, with 13%. But the bottom line was still much less, 10 million. So as you can see, they're right. Things are not equal. In the men's cup, men only get 9% of total revenue. In order to make this equal, in order for men and women to make the same amount of money, women have to get less money. We need to make it 9% instead of 13%, and then it will be equal. Ah, uh, yes. You know, it really scares me, the amount of women out there who can vote. One, who don't understand uh, basic percentages or proportions. Two, and three, don't actually understand what they're talking about, like equality. Equality doesn't mean that everything is the same. You know, that's, that's a, it's a false god, first of all. Nothing is equal. But the pay comes from revenue. The Women's World Cup does not bring in as much money. It brought in 73 million. The Men's World Cup brought in 4 billion. Men are paid 9% of the total revenue. Women are paid 13% of total revenue. So they're actually being paid better than men. And if you're calling for equality, like I said, that means that women have to also earn 9%. And maybe men could earn 13%. That would make it equal too, and they would make even more money. So by arguing for equality, these women are literally advocating that either they get paid less, or what they're complaining about, that men make more than them, will get worse. You see, when you have a functioning, like even one functioning brain cell inside of your brain, you can figure this out on your own and you could realize, wow, Vox, that's stupid. You're stupid, Vox. Dumber than a rock. No, that's an insult to rock. And anyone who buys your propaganda is absolutely dumb and doesn't know basic economics. It's so sad. Going back to Twitter, let's see more responses and then take a look at another post. So I think this is um good. Uh, th this is really good to debunk and make Vox even look like more of the trash that it really is. They lie to their viewers. It's left-wing propaganda. It's far left. They employ Marxists. Anything they say is a joke. <laughs> Alex says it best. Because the Women's World Cup brings in like 70 million, while the Men's World Cup brings in 6 billion. 
Mohammed, no pun intended, says, Love how all the bots are anti-equal pay. I wonder why. Thinking face. Hmm, maybe it's because Mr. Low IQ individual. They actually know about economics. <laughs> Ultimate Crew SC says, Because they played an opponent equivalent to a U8 team. I don't know what that means. I thought he said U-turn. Someone explain a joke. So let's look at uh, Kristen Gillibrand, Virtue Signaling. And this had 22,000 likes and 4,000 retweets. Fourth, ugh, I, I think about all the stupid people in the world who, who actually buy into this, this stupidity. <sighs> okay, here's an idea. If you win 13 to zero, the most goals for any single game in World Cup history, you should be paid at least equally to the men's team. I agree. Lower their pay. Make it 9%. True equality. Don't you love it, ladies? Congratulations. Hashtag USWNT. Swanee says, are you effing stupid or dumb? Mr. E says, here's an idea. Make me a sandwich. Based in red pilled. And I will be liking that. Andrew Getalushi says, surprised you're not advocating that they share 6.5 goals with Thailand. Cause equality. Again, true equality. It's almost like they know exactly what they're doing, but they're disingenuous little harlots that just want to be parasites and have the world handed to them on a silver platter. It never worked for anything in their lives. It's like they think they're entitled for men to just give them everything. Oh, and yeah, here's the perfect response, because this has happened multiple times. Jonah Redmill says, 15 side, World Cup winning USA women team suffer 5-2 to two loss against Dallas Academy boys. There's even been cases where, like, these pro-women athletes go against a high school team of males. And they lose. That's why you don't get as many fans. Women are just not as strong. Now, don't get me wrong. Oh, I love a strong woman with chiseled abs and muscles all over, rippling, fit as a fiddle. Could crush my head between her thighs. Trust me, I like a strong woman. But there's a basic biological reality here that we have to face. You know what I suggest? This is this would be my plan. If I truly wanted to get the women's cup to be more popular, I would create an alternative version of the game with like crazy hijinks, like Japanify it and and differentiate yourself. You're not going to beat men when it comes to stamina or strength. I mean, maybe you could. I got to be honest, a lot of these women don't seem to be like ripped. I bet if these women got like more buff, like really buff, like not too buff, like like sexy buff. They could compete better and do more crazy stuff. But you know, these are just ideas. That would, I don't know. I think it could be successful. I think it could work. More muscle ladies is never a bad thing. Bill says, here's an alternative idea, Christian. It's a basic economic theory called supply and demand. Perhaps you've heard of it. <laughs> if there is a high demand for women's soccer as measured by attendance and TV viewership, salaries will increase accordingly. You know, the funny thing about that is, um, I've taken economics. I think I got like to intermediate and it's, it's really not that simple. But supply and demand, like the basic, that's something we all understand. So it's scary that there's people who don't. James Cavana says, A team with a sense of sportsmanship would have stopped trying to score after 6-0 to zero or so. Fear the wrath of a woman's scorn. And you know what? That pretty much says it all, folks. Um, there's really no other way to put it. These people, virtue signaling on the line on Twitter, saying, Women should be paid equal. Pay gap. It's a myth. And this is exactly why it's a myth. Every single time they say there's a pay gap, it turns out, whoa, it has nothing to do with uh, gender. It's about performance. Well, I guess it does have to do with gender because apparently it affects performance. Is that if that's what I'm getting from this? At least in physical sports. When it comes to the corporate world, women just don't know how to get raises. Yeah, it's their own responsibility. They're equal to men, right? So why why should we have to help them learn how to get a raise? Sorry, that's not how it works. You wanted equality, you got it. You having fun? You like being equal? You like working nine to five or working a 12 hour shift on salary? Is it fun? Is it fun being a man? You enjoying all the responsibility? Even in this day and age, there's a lot of women who live easy lives. I mean, this woman's soccer league is a perfect example. They're actually overpaid compared to the men and they're still complaining because that's what they do. It's never enough. It just pisses me off because they're lying. I don't really care if they get paid a bigger percentage. What I care about is they're lying through their teeth. 
spreading the women's rights bullcrap when it has nothing to do with that. I hate lies. And as such, I must speak out against this. The truth is, there's a reason women don't make as much money as men and should actually be paid less. But that's merely the obvious. Well, that's all for now, folks. What do you think about the Women's Soccer League and Vox and Kristen Gillibrand? Do you think they're right? Should we give the Whammons more money, even though they don't bring in, in as much revenue? Do you think that we should change women's soccer and possibly encourage them to get more muscle and to get more fit, to get six-packs? Be sure to let me know. Now, if you want to support the content that I make, you can do so by joining me on Patreon or Subscribestar, both of which will get you access to Fight Club, a private Discord server. You can also use PayPal. It has a monthly donation option. And, of course, you can just share the video. That helps a lot. As always, thanks for watching. This has been Mr. Obvious, and I'll see you all next time.